Someone once said that architecture is frozen music. And this is more than just a pretty phrase. Because if we take the sounds produced by different musical instruments and freeze them, we will see that frozen music does look rather like architecture. Some sound waves look like a row of pyramids. Some like a string of mud huts. And others are a jumble of all sorts of shapes and sizes. Now let's take a typical computer sound and freeze that. A row of little boxes. It looks as boring and repetitive as it sounds. All the boxes are the same shape. The waveforms are all square. And they are all the same size. There's no variation in their volume. This is because the switching on and off of a computer circuit can only produce sound waves that are either completely on or completely off. In order to improve the quality of computer sound, you need to add a music synthesizer chip. This synthesizer can create a range of waveforms, from sawtooth waves to triangular waves to mellow sine waves. It can also vary the volume of these waves, not just to sound louder or softer, but also to give each note an individual contour or sound envelope. This enables you to imitate a guitar, for example, whose notes have a waveform like this and an envelope like this, which starts quickly and fades quickly. Or a trumpet, which produces a waveform like this and an envelope like this which starts slowly, but can be sustained for a long time. And that's how, by manipulating various combinations of different waveforms and envelopes, a computer equipped with a music synthesizer can synthesize or put together the basic elements of any sound you like, so that you can turn your computer into a flute, or a violin, or a xylophone, or some instrument that no one's ever thought of before. There's no limit to the new forms of musical architecture that you can dream of.